Yes, 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 yes. Back again. Tonight's going to be a showdown. I'm talking about the Champions League tonight, the previous year. Welcome in everybody onto the show. I'm telling you, I'm live right now. It is what it is. I tell you, smash the like on the video, subscribe to the channel. We are about to go down onto this game. The two massive games coming up in Europe. I'm talking about Champions League. Welcome in everybody onto the show. I'm here again with my main man, my main G, all the way from Canada. Man, you're live. What's going on, bro? You're welcome once again to the show. Yeah, it's nice to do it again. Yeah, it's another day of the UEFA Champions League quarterfinals, yeah. and it's going to be interesting, just like yesterday. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's quickly do it. Now it's going to be the quarterfinal, the second game, the first leg of this encounter. I'm telling you, we're going to go straight, dive into this. I'm talking about the PSG versus Barcelona. As a Barcelona fan, are you scared going to this game? <laughs> uh, well, I will not. I will not say that I am scared going into this game, but I, I have uh, realistic expectations. Right. The reason is because we are going to play a PSG whose form in the league has not been very good. But despite that, they have been competing in 27 matches. That 27 matches have taken five months. So imagine playing a team that have not tasted defeat in five months. It's something. And those five months, those 27 matches include 19 home games hmm. that they've gone competing. And now we are going to pack the Prince to play them. So it's something to be realistic about. We cannot say we'll go there and demolish them. Yeah. And again, Barcelona, on their own, they, they, they have some uh, resurgence in form. They haven't lost in 11 matches and uh, they, they are unbeaten in five away matches. In fact, Barcelona has not lost an away league game this season. The only team that has done it in La Liga thus far. However, Barcelona need to tread carefully in this game because they are, they are, they are going to start with two teenagers. That is talking about Lamin Yamal on the right wing and in the centre of defence, Paul Kubasi, who has been a revelation this season. So playing two teenagers in the UEFA Champions League quarterfinal against a team like PSG, you, you can't expect too much. Coupled with the fact that Barcelona has, they, they, they have seven players that are one yellow card away from suspension. Wow. So, so, Sergio Roberto, Ferran Torres, Raul Araujo, Lamin Yamal himself, Frankie de Jong, if he gets to play, all those players will play carefully. And if they get a yellow card, that means they are not playing the return leg. And wow. they may be all to play for in the return leg. So, this match is going to be an interesting game. However, we cannot fail to talk about one man, Kylian Mbappe Lotin. Okay. This guy, <laughs> when, the last time he played against Barcelona, I remember a hat trick. And that was the era of Lionel Messi. So he's still there. This may probably be his last season. He wants to prove a point before he goes. goes. And we are, if he scores another hat trick, well, that is good by Barcelona. I hope he doesn't, but it is, it is one man to keep an eye on. Mm, all right. All right. Um, let's move on to this uh, next game, uh, which is Atletico Madrid versus um, Borussia Dortmund. What's your take on this game? Going into this game. Yeah, Atletico Madrid, they, they they haven't been doing so fine recently, locally, because they, they, they have played nine matches without a clean sheet. And I remember that not too long ago, they played Barcelona, they lost 3-0 at home. And that was the first time in a long time that they, they've lost a, a home game. So they are home, they are, they are home today. And they are playing Borussia Dortmund, who are former European champions. Normally, I look at this game like hard versus soft. But uh, <laughs> Atletico Madrid have they have a hard way of playing. And yeah. Borussia Dortmund are not they are not strong, but they have tactics. They they are technically gifted, and they have some decent players like Marco Royce, uh, uh, Donia Ma, Ma, Ma and Donia Martin. Yeah. And um, Adeyemi. Ade, Karim Adeyemi. Yeah. 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 So so those players will come good for them. I expect to see a beautiful game. I think that Atletico Madrid will have a slim win, but uh, not a win that would destroy Borussia Dortmund because the second leg in Germany will be instrumental. But for the PSG Barcelona game, it is a must watch. All right. All right. I want to quickly ask you to do a uh, this prediction for this game I and mean, in PSG versus Barcelona. What's your score prediction going to this game? I, I predict a 2-1 win for PSG. Wow. 
Wow, yeah. wow, wow, yeah. wow. And the, and the reason is because of that Mbappe factor. You cannot, that boy is something Incredible. out of this world. You cannot, you cannot rule out the fact that playing at home and, and then another thing that works in their favor is that they have, they, they have a manager who knows Barcelona so well. So well. They, uh, yeah, I want to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the last time Barcelona won the Champions League in 2015, he was the coach. And Zavi, Barcelona's coach, he was coach? the captain. Was the wow. captain. So, so <laughs> you know, and during the week, they asked him that about, about the, the style of play. He said he exhibits that philosophy more than Zavi. And I think Ooh. he could say that because he's older. He's even yeah. older than Guardiola. He's a year older than Guardiola, not to talk of Zavi. So he, he, he knows what he's saying. And we, we all know that Lucho, as they like to call him, he likes to talk. He talks yeah. a lot. So, yeah. So, but when Zavi was uh, uh, asked, he, he was like, well, that is Lucho. You know him. That is how he talks. He didn't want to get drawn or something into that argument. But uh, both of them are going to be true to their styles. And uh, though Zavi, Zavi's side, May, may show more uh, retention of the ball in terms of ball possession. I yeah. expect that they will be outscored because the defense is still suspect. And uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what kind of defense are you going to do? You think a probable lineup for your defense? Oh, okay, so so Just probable tell. lineup. Uh, what I see Barcelona doing mm. is that we know that the front three will be the Lewandowski in the middle. Yamal on the oh, right man, like and it. probably Rafinha on the left. People are saying that Felix should come in on that left side, but because of what Rafinha has done in recent uh, games, I think it will start. In the midfield, they yeah. want to bring in uh, Frederick de Jong, now that he's fit, along with Gundogan and perhaps Chris Tensen. At the back, the centre back will be Ra Raul, uh, Ronald Araujo and Paul Kubasi, that 17 year old boy. Then yeah. on the left, on the wow. left, they will have Cancelo, and on the right, they will have Jules Pundi. Then, um, Mark Andre Test again will be in goal. PSG, their front three will be Bakula, uh, Mbappe, and uh, likely uh, one other person. Then, Baiting Hatu will be supporting, along with uh, Zaire Emery at, at, at the left wing, who like to make runs forward. And, you know, they have decent players too. So, we cannot rule them out. And I will not be surprised if they win by a slim margin. And then the, the return leg will tell the, the full story. All right. Uh, what about this competition for this game, Atletico Madrid versus uh, Borussia uh, I, I think <laughs> I, I, I see a one nil for one Atletico nil. Madrid. Yeah. Atletico Madrid. Well, uh, yeah. I, 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 the same. That's that's my own competition as well. Too. Yeah. All right. Um, about time. The time. Uh, the time is clicking to start the game. I know you are nervous, kind of, because you are going yeah, to play away. Uh, you are going to play away. So well. All things being equal, um, we still come back for the review, uh, the review of the game, the aftermath. Yes. All yes. right, I want to say thank you, Mark, for joining us on this one. Massive love, bro. Thank you, too. All right, all right, people, smash the like on the video. This is how far we can go tonight. You know, it is what it is. This is the Champions League show. Um, uh, this is how we do it. On the same time, when we come back for the aftermath, the game, the match aftermath, please keep subscribing, smash the like on the video, and share the video as well. Bye once again.